You're pretty welcome back to Unstable TV. So you guys have given us a lot of suggestions on our recent Hindu reaction video. But before we get into that, if this is your first time on the channel, do not forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. If you like religion videos like this, make sure you hit that bell. And if you're back with us again, thanks. One so of our lovely viewers sent us over today, Danielle. So today, James, we were asked to check out Hinduism, the basics. We know a little bit about Hinduism, so this is going to be our journey to learning more. We do have a playlist up in the cards there if you want to check that out. We've done temples, we've even done our own videos on it explaining these temples. Make sure you check through the channel for that. So let's learn this together. Let's go. Hey everyone, welcome back to this series about world religions. We are exploring religions from a historical lens Ooh. and celebrating the uniqueness we find in each. Again, not all religions are the same, not but there enough. are similarities you can draw on each of them. There are also huge differences that we negate if we don't understand their background. Think of it this way, M&Ms and Skittles. Yes, they are similar and they're both candy and brownish, but to say they're the same, misses out on the uniqueness each candy has to offer. Good way Want to explore that. differences and celebrate the goodness of the chocolate. Hashtag Team Eminem. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly a fresher way of exploring the religion system. That's true. I'm scared of my so dad. Let's look yeah. at Hinduism today. Hinduism is one of the world's oldest religions, and it started in South Asia, which is in the area of modern day India and Pakistan. Many historians say the belief system emerged in the Indus River Valley around 4,000 years ago. The tricky part about Hinduism is there's no specific founder and often is a combination of many traditions and philosophies, starting with the Aryan people who migrated to South Asia and brought in the Vedic beliefs. Think of Hinduism as very flexible, unlike other religions are more strict with their beliefs. This one is flexible. Here's a good example. When thinking about deities or who God is, there are various Hindu beliefs. Many historians would say it is polytheistic and they believe in many gods. Poly meaning many, theism talking about the study of God. So many gods. Although many Hindus would say they're henotheistic, which means they worship a single deity known as Brahman, while not denying that other gods exist. And then others would just say that they are having lots of different people like Shiva and Vishnu or Krishna, the god of compassion and love, are just manifestations of that ultimate god, Brahman. To learn more about these different deities, you can read any of the Hindu sacred writings, which again, isn't a single book. The primary book is the Vedas, which among them is the Rig Veda, which is one of the most popular of this. The, the Vedas transcend time, as they would say, and they don't really have a beginning or an end as they are referring to the ultimate truth. We do not know who wrote them. Hindus worship in temples, but they also worship at home where they often have a small shrine with pictures and a statue oh, no, a dedicated yep. to a god or Horrible goddess. Temples. Brahmins are a class within Hinduism who are often the priests or the teachers. Today, many Hindu leaders may be known as priests or gurus, and a follower of Hinduism is known as a Hindu. Over the years, I have heard many strange things meet up like a Hinduist, but no, it's Hindus. So let's break down the major beliefs of Hinduism. There's some good vocab words, so get your pen ready for these. Write this down. Write it down. Hindus believe in the doctrine of samsara, which is the continuous cycle of birth and death and reincarnation. They also believe in karma, which is the universal law of cause and effect. Good karma means that your good deeds will cause you good things, whereas bad karma says that a person's wrong acts will eventually catch up to Don't them. Don't be bold. Hindus focus on living out their dharma, which is their place or duty in life. It focuses on people living out their morality in all aspects, regardless if they don't like their job or their position in society. Now, the ultimate goal is release from the cycle of samsara. This escape from samsara is called moksha, it is where a person's soul becomes part of the absolute soul, being once again Brahman. 
The caste system is a social hierarchy in India that divides Hindus based on their karma and their dharma. The four main castes or classes are Brahmins, which are the priests or the teachers, the Kshatriyas, which are the protectors or government workers, the Vaishyas, who are the skillful producers, and again, the Shudras, who are the unskilled laborers. I will say there is contention about the caste system. Yeah, it's not great. Some Hindus no. say that the caste system isn't a part of the reincarnation process. Others say the caste system is just a way to create social order in society. That makes People sense. who fell in love with different castes were not allowed to marry each other. And I wonder if there's an Indian version of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> Additionally, yeah. to add in, the classes of the untouchables, if you've heard of that, is not mentioned in the Rig Veda. So today, technically, the caste system is illegal, and now that they are an independent nation in India. Now, similar to Judaism, Hinduism isn't technically a universal religion where they seek converts. Hindu beliefs are diffused and are spread because Hindus themselves move. Initially, these beliefs spread throughout the Indian Ocean Basin and a little bit to Southeast Asia. Additionally, most Hindus are Indians, so that's where Hinduism was. That makes sense. Okay. In regard to gender roles, Hinduism is very patriarchal in societal terms. Historically, marriage was more arranged in Hindu families where fathers would give their daughters away with little to suit, no say to females. There's an old custom where female widows would commit suicide after their husband's death. This wasn't a widespread custom, but the idea that women were a nuisance and couldn't provide for their family tells us a little bit about their place in society. However, many deities within Hinduism are female, while Brahman, the ultimate being, is seen as genderless. We could totally dig into so much more about this, but I hope this gives you a good overview of Hinduism. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. If you find this information helpful, give us a like, subscribe below, so first off, very big shout out to you guys for sending this one over. And of course, a very big shout out to the original content creator to make sure you check them out, give them a like, subscribe and share and all of that good YouTube stuff. And with this one, we're going to let Danielle go first with her thoughts. Every time James drops the earpod. Every time. We need one that clips. <laughs> we need better earpods. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Exactly. Buy me a copies in the description. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of information to take in in six minutes. Yeah. We did know about the Vedas, we did know about karma and dharma and stuff like that. A little bit, not a huge amount. There was a lot of new stuff in there that we didn't know. Yeah, yeah Hinduism is just such a vast religion. And the fact that they don't know where it started, who the main god is, that's just wild to me. Because every other religion is like that really, isn't it? Yeah. So this one is just kind of... I don't know, more like just the belief system, I suppose, as in like, this is the way we have to live and that's what's going to happen. Now, the women, I don't really understand, considering there's women gods as well. That just doesn't make sense to me then. Yeah. What about you? Or what do you think about the video as a whole? Well, the video as a whole, it's a good breakdown of basics and examples. Definitely the theory of the two sweets she mentioned, how religions can be looking similar, but they are not the same. Yeah, we've learned before that Hinduism has not got a strictness as much as other religions do. But it is a bit upsetting to hear that they're saying women are used to some one part, but then they have gods that are women. It's a bit like Greek philosophy, how they talk about women in a certain way, but yet women are the gods of war. And they are gods in that as well. Make it make sense. So it looks like everyone's taking little pieces from each other. Yeah. But I do appreciate the karma system in it yes if you do bad you should receive bad if you do good you should receive good that makes a lot of sense i also really enjoy the reincarnation part of it i do like that a lot like are you gonna come back as a frog yeah. a toe an eardrum like it's always it's always good to find out you know but definitely i'd love to come back as the bengali tiger but that's just me <laughs> the biggest question we have for a lot of you guys watching are you strict with how you follow it? Yep. And what is your favourite teaching from Hinduism? Oh, that's good. Yep. And if there's a video on your favourite teaching or the Vedas or anything like that that we should know more about in this video, you know what to do. 
drop them down below because like I said, a lot of information in six minutes. And if that's the basics, we're going to be in for a, a long, 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 long lesson with Hinduism. A roller coaster of education. Now, all our lovely Indian friends, can you tell us in the comments, is, do you have your own version of Romeo and Juliet? Ooh. We would like to know. And if you do have a link or a story, don't be afraid to comment down below. And what does your temple look like at home? That has been our two cents, and we will chop ourselves out of this.